Hey. 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 <laughs> First question is, where y'all been at? We were supposed to do this while we was tasting the food, but we thought we was gonna be eating the food and liking the food. So we thought that we were gonna be eating as we're talking. So yeah, just bear with us. First question is, where y'all been at? Grab it out of me, most of the streets, my Nah, I didn't live life. You know, trying to get better as a person. No. Oh yeah. That's yours. Okay. But you trying to be you trying to be better as a person. Yeah. Trying to be better, you know, making my money. That's first and foremost. Fuck these niggas. Period. So you know this is on a shit. Period. Oh, I like that answer. Yeah. What you been at home? Girl. <laughs> <laughs> like, girl. No, but no. I ain't girl, I've been at home. Where we at right now? I've been here. At the crib. At the crib. We just, you know. Man, I been a mama. Being a mama, I been really just girl trying to tackle this adult shit. Yeah, because it's ghetto as fuck. Out. It really is, and it, it, it definitely nobody asked to do this. Really, because did you ask to do this? I didn't ask to do nothing. I didn't ask. I didn't even first of all initially. I didn't ask to be here. Be here, and then after that, all this other I didn't shit. Ask to on top of that, and I really was not fucking with this shit. You really want me to be honest? It was just like a whole. Bunch of bullshit. Yeah, so no, I ain't asked for none of it, none of this shit to happen. But I've been, I've been, I've been, I've been tackling this shit. I've been wrestling with this little shit, and I won. Yeah, yeah, like I always do. That's why I say chin up, chest out. Shit so oh. yeah, and um, that's why I've been, I've been at my house, getting my house together, getting my baby together, my baby, and really, oh, I've been trying to. That's when go into the other question, but you know, just getting some shit together. Yeah. Period. And I've been outside too. A little bit. We've been outside. We've been popping but out we, every we, now and then. Yeah, every now and then. Like, we, we don't even be trying to be out or time. Yeah, we don't. We, and then when we do, we don't be trying to be where everybody at because mm -hmm. they ain't even. You know, y'all yeah. like to rock their locks. Y'all know. Then the niggas be like in the tussle. I wonder all type of shit. And ain't nobody got time for this. What's the next question? Next question is Bob checking this bitch. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I liked that. That was cute. Um, I go first because I guess you went first to last one. You want some of this? Um, my vibe right now, I am feeling good. Like overall, and it's like I am. I'm in a good mindset, good mood, good energy. Like I've been really, really, I've been just what's the word? growing a relationship with more with myself like i've been really by myself really yeah. but then i do be with my friends and shit like that and my family yeah. but overall i've been by myself you know my baby she's always good self-care is the best care never forget that like so yeah that's really what that what vibe i mean i'm just really enjoying life as it is right now like and yeah i think that's well, that's my vibe right now my vibe is Going with the flow and not taking shit personal, cause you know this shit, that shit never personal, nothing never really personal. never personal, really, and really just um yeah, like I said, minding my business and staying in my own lane, working on me. Oh, I really might have to decide. But where you? What's your vibe? What's my your vibe? vibe. I ain't no lie. Uh, my vibe check right now. I'm like, I'm like a 19, you know, I'm doing better. Like I said, like my girl said, oh, really tackling this adult shit, you know, it's a little hard, but I'm good. I feel like I'm in a better place than I've ever been, you know what I'm saying, as far as like emotional state, healthy state, knowing how to get back to myself and shit, how to snap back out that shit, you know, and then I get to enjoy myself. Just learning how to balance life a little bit, you know, which is good. Um... Yeah, but my vibe check good, bitch. I try to wake up every day with positive energy because that's how you start your day. You know what I'm saying? Whatever energy you give off in the morning, that's how your day gonna go. So, bitch, you wake up angry, your day gonna be very filled with chaos angry. and angerness. Yeah. You don't wanna be angry all day. I like so, that. Bitch, you wake I'm, up I'm, I'm, with positive energy. You tell yourself, you know, today is gonna be whatever it is, whatever I make it. You know. You well, let me elaborate on that because, yeah. like you said. When you wake up, when whatever mindset you got in your head, and 
you project that out into yourself and you believe that, that's how you feel it and that's how everybody gonna respond to you. Very you know what I'm saying? So, me, I've been kind of going through like a spiritual awakening kind of thing. Not even kind of, like, bitch, I am. Yeah. But I'm it's so it's, it's definitely, I like it. <laughs> <She's laughs> <fucked up. laughs> But no, I like, I, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. But right now, I'm at the point where, like you said, I realize, bitch, I'm the creator of this shit. So whatever I put out is going to come back to me. Period. Yes. So just learning to really check our vibes every day, like personally, that's the biggest thing. Just, you know, like I said, don't ever forget about yourself. Our, period. You got to be better for us. Put yourself in mind. Yeah. What they say, because if you lose yourself, you are your greatest asset. You lose you, then who gonna do for you? Who gonna do for what you got going on? You know what I'm saying? And if you can't love yourself, how the fuck somebody gonna love you? How, babe? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. I like. But everybody go through that point. You know, everybody. Everybody gotta listen to lessons at different times. So, Mm -hmm. yeah. I just feel like everybody right now. I feel like the world as a unit, as a. Really speak to my black people because you know I love y'all. Yeah, love we need as a collective, that's the word. As a collective, look at that. As a collective, we just all everybody this is just realize like bro, the shit around us don't fucking matter. None of this shit matters. Nothing. None of this shit matter. But if you want more bitch, yeah, it's only you who can go and get it. I mean you you let everybody else what's it? Mindsets and thoughts and everybody else affect how you move. That's some pussy ass whole ass yeah. shit. Mm, yeah, be strong, stand up. You know, it's be too weak. Weak in the knees, it's not just over these niggas, but just in life. Period. In life, general. Oh, so yeah, when yeah, yeah, everybody gonna get to that point. Yeah. When you do, bitch, you can't fall. Yeah, take bitch. your time with it. Learn how to do it. So when you get there, you don't even gotta worry about shit. This is something natural to you. Become natural. You know what I'm saying? But that just like I said, it all goes back to just knowing yourself and knowing who you are. You gotta figure out, you know how motherfuckers say they need to be to themselves. Sometimes people really need to learn how to be. Bro, and then people need to learn how to respect boundaries. Yes. When I wanna be by myself, let me be by myself. It's not no, it's not no tension. I just, you know what I'm saying? I just need to separate myself. Y'all, a lot of people need to understand. Bro, and then motherfuckers need to act like you acting funny or you being funny because you don't wanna be bro. This ain't got nothing to do with you. Nothing to do with you. But now we do. Now we now do. You make but now for the show, you. Bro, I hate that. Like, motherfucker try to yeah, gaslight yeah, or no. whatever the word is. Like, bro, don't try to ever make it seem like it's that when it ain't that. It's not that. But yeah. Whole time, this some me shit. This shit personal. personal. Really, and you can't help me with none of this shit. This shit personal. This shit is personal. I forget you. But no, for real, this shit is personal. This shit be personal. Next question is new accomplishments. New accomplishments. You can go first. I went first the other day. Um, new accomplishments. I just got a new job. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Period. And the bitch is making like more than I've ever made. Yeah. Anywhere. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then I'm barely doing shit. I feel like um, a bitch stayed down. A bitch had a little, you know, I had my moment where I didn't think, you know, it was looking a little dark. Like I said, you know, chin up, chest out, stuck that shit through. Now, bitch got a new job. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Like I said, I'm just happy. So, you know what I'm saying? That was, a, that was an accomplishment that I just recently happened. Uh, something else. Like I said, I just feel like all my accomplishments really just tie down to me just learning how to balance out everything. Like, I feel like that's my most major accomplishment. Learning how to balance out my emotions, my mental, my physical health. Like, all that shit. Really trying to, you know, balance it. Like, that could be a lot. You know what I'm saying? We trying to figure out yourself and figure out what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? You forget about just taking care of you. So just me be able to, you know, do my shit, still get up on my shit. And, but knowing how to take care of myself and balancing that shit out, I think that's accomplishment within itself. Period. I fuck with that answer. I fuck with that. Yeah, bitch. But new accomplishments is me really like saying fuck what everybody else think and really going for what the fuck I know like even though y'all motherfuckers that don't know me probably seem like I already do that or I got that mentality already but I did even though I did have that mentality I still used to let other motherfuckers opinion sometimes like uh influence what the fuck I would do yeah or influence you know and not even like the bad way good way whatever however you want to put that shit you know what the fuck I mean motherfuckers know 
when you listen to what is in your ear, you you just be like, okay, damn, am I not thinking about that? Like, damn, okay, maybe I do got to think like that, or damn, am I am I thinking the wrong way? Right, or am I making the wrong move? Right. Now I just know I believe in myself, like bitch, bro. If it, if it's your if it if it's your idea, bitch, it's, that's yours. Do Fuck it. what everybody else think. It's oh. you. So I feel like that's an accomplishment because I kept on. Yeah. A couple years, I was definitely. <laughs> I'll be trying to be nice and include everybody else and be like, okay, I'm gonna include you in my decision type shit, but type bitch, shit. fuck that shit now. It's mm -hmm. all up to me. And, well, let me see. Probably a uh, new accomplishment is my patience. I'm definitely a lot more patient than yes. I ever been. Yeah. Ever been. I can peek that at you, though. I definitely peek your patience. Bro, yeah, what, I got so a lot good. of patience now. That's probably from Kai. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I got a lot of patience now. I really never had what? Bitch. I used to ah, ah, right. And then that but that shit used to scare me and, and deep inside it used to scare me. I used to scare myself too. And I'm like, damn, why the fuck I just do that shit? <laughs> but wholeheartedly I'd be like, alright. But I feel like yeah, now I'm way more patient. And yeah, that's a big accomplishment. Yeah, I don't know. What else? I can't tell y'all about this other accomplishment because I don't want to speak on it too soon. But for business for show, that's a little accomplishment for me. I got a new Period. business coming. Period. And that's just that. The next one is what is your relationship, relationship status? status. Oh, handle what you gotta do because I had the first one. <laughs> you did. You did. We are gonna take a sip of tattoo on that one. On that one because. <laughs> I'm single. What she said? Period. Single looking. What? Back on the prowl. I thought I was perfect. But I don't know how. Dog. Wait. Oh, that's I'm what though. School off. Oh, it was pajama school. Don't ask me how I know that. <laughs> they probably go to the same school. Somebody I know. Okay. But it was that kind of extra shit. Uh, <laughs> relationship status. Oh, uh, you said you're single? Yeah, I'm single. I, um, Currently single, also. Yeah, so pretty much get money for me. Period. I'm in a relationship with myself. Yeah, I'm in a relationship with God. We're trying to build our bond right now. You oh, know, God. Oh, really you just reminded me of a conversation room. I wanted to have. Yeah, for real. We can actually record that too and have drop that as okay. another video. Oh, but God. let's go. Next question. Something y'all might not know. Oh, I gotta go first because you just asked. <laughs> That's funny. Something you guys might not know. Well, this is. Wow. Wow. Well, I don't want to speak on this too strong either because it's something that I'm probably going to start doing or whatever. But um, I sing. I sing. I'm very in tune with music. I really have a feel for music. I don't know. I've always been like shy when it comes to it. But now I think I, I think it's time to just like step out my bubble and out my comfort zone a little bit. For sure. So yes, girl, because you got this. a voice. Bro, I'm one thing, okay, so look, like, I'm going to tie into that, but yeah. I'm going to actually answer myself. But I'm going to tell you what she said, because we both be singing, like, we both used to sing, like, school, all the time. So <laughs> good, though. Every like, day. I, like, we used to really sing, yes. like, sing. And like, we still be singing now, but we just don't do it as much. Like, but we. Jada definitely got a voice, and I yeah, definitely yeah, got a voice. We both just but like, we both be shy with our shit. Oh, yeah, I, know, yeah, I feel y like Jada got to do it for me to do it. <laughs> but wait, when y'all see it though, y'all can't because say we ain't never spoke on it because, like I said, this is something y'all don't know about us. Mm -hmm. But we definitely, we definitely had a conversation. Right. About we definitely didn't talk about it already. But like. because I swear to God, like I done sung at uh, Christmas concerts, love a pat, yeah. little, little shit like that. Choir, always been in choir and shit. High school and uh, growing up. Yes, but, I used to do like school events, all type of shit. I used to have to say all type of shit. National anthem. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Like that's what when I seen when I I heard Jennifer one time. Like, well, we was what fifteen? Yeah, I'm just gonna 16, say we was 15. young. Anyway, we was young as a bitch. We was still 15. singing. Oh my baby, we was in choir together. It ain't great. Grown lady ass voices. Yes, yes. yes. Oh, <laughs> they put us on the front line, like the leader of fun, all type of shit. Yes, like, it was real crazy. Boy. I used to get pissed when we couldn't sing. Like, like what, what? Like, bitch? Y'all put somebody yeah, else up what? there? You know them house case. <laughs> <laughs> 
I ain't gonna lie, that's one thing I'm real shy about. That's I can say that. Something I might not know. I'm shy about singing in front of people. Like, you got, if you catch me singing, really like in singing, singing, you lucky. Yeah, you probably know me. Yeah. Like, I really, like yeah. But we be singing though. I used to, uh, I tried to be in a little rap group too. With me and my I friends in middle school. Times. I don't know why. <laughs> but I had. We wouldn't even rap, but we was like, y'all want to know my old, my first name when I thought I was going to be a rapper or a singer? This was without, this was without anybody. Like, right. this was just me wanting to come out. My name was Pretty Pink. Ooh, Pretty Pink. <laughs> she went crazy. Pretty Pink like, music you can actually sing. Like, when we be around each other, even when we first so, met, we're like, put on some music we can sing. Me, like, not no like, rap shit. Always, even like, though we like rap shit, but we still be like, we have our most of the we time just, like, we sing. Like, real regular music type shit. Yeah. It probably don't even be uh, all our race. We just say everybody. Hell yeah, I went though. But, but uh, next question is look. Where do you see yourself in five years? Oh yeah, we gotta hold this up. Uh, we gotta hold now. Okay. But um, <laughs> who first? You. you gotta go first. I it's me. You. Yeah, cause I asked. You did. You like? Right. What do I see myself in five years? I see myself. So let's see. I'm twenty. So twenty five. I be. I see myself. My son would be six. I see us not, I see us like, I don't know, I say I want to move somewhere, I just don't know where. I see us not in Milwaukee for sure, so I really can't see me in this city, but I do see us like living like a good ass life. I'm, I got a good job, like a remote job, like where it's passive income. I don't really got to do too much, and, but I'm still getting paid, you know what I'm saying? And, we just living life, traveling and shit. I'm gonna definitely be one of those big YouTubers. I'm trying. I'll be trying. I'll be saying I'm gonna really. I told y'all. I'll be. I'll be losing phones back to back. Right. I want. Bitch can't keep a phone. I can't keep a phone. Like, so like, that's what be ever. slowing my content down, dog. I think she did. So, I, either I'm gonna get a camera. I said I'm gonna get a camera, but I don't want to lose my camera. So I gotta keep it with the phone first. Right. But for sure, I'm definitely gonna keep dropping content. So I see myself like one, like a. Now I won't even say an influencer, but a content creator. Like I just, I'm gonna put out anything. I really, I talk about everything. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I feel like I'm gonna be somewhere. What Jada be saying? Put up. Put up. <laughs> put up. Bullshit. Me I and my think. baby, and who knows? I don't know. Period. Um, five years. Oh, I don't know. I ain't got no kids right now, so I don't. I don't know. I wanna. I wanna be able. I probably have a child by then. I don't know, I don't know how old, cause I still wanna have a baby. Probably like two more years. Give myself a little more time. Um, yeah, probably. But like I said, I wanna be put up somewhere making money. You know, without doing nothing while in my sleep. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Something that I can just. But I also wanna do something that's more like hands on. Something that if. Any day I could go in and I could like, you know, hands on. I want to work. I want to do certain stuff. Just like I said, I like to do stuff. It's just not every day. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, but like I said, life, I want to be booked and busy. You know what I'm saying? I don't care what it is, whether it's traveling, whether it's going to see family, whether it's me taking a business trip, anything. Like, I want to just be booked and busy. Like, surrounded. Like, but like I said, also balanced and just enjoying life. I could see that for us. Oh, like, and then, like traveling, like once we man, five years, it's just gonna be like, five yeah, years. I want it to be. I don't want to be all, I, I ain't gonna be old, so right, we're gonna be young as fuck, still, still, like so still getting our That's shit together. But you know, like just like I said, more experience, more knowledge, you know, making smarter moves, you know, dealing with less ignorant people, you know, God removing people out of my life, and, you know, just being like I said, right now, me and God is bonding and all this other stuff, so. Right now, I think that I'll probably be in a relationship, all type of shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm really manifesting that stuff for, my, for myself. Yeah. Sure. I like that. Yeah. Kaya. <laughs> awesome. Uh, how did we meet? <laughs> I don't know why I just get that. <laughs> Taylor. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Taylor. Is Please take another shot. Because this Taylor. is a funny story, too. It is. We um <laughs> we first met you when I first day meeting. Mm -hmm. I remember, yeah, I, I think it was, yeah, it was like an orientation. It was orientation. You was I had first came to the school. 
<laughs> so I remember. Okay, look. Uh, was that the first? I'm about to stop what you say. I got you. Okay. okay. So this is how I remember it. <laughs> also, okay. So I've been going to this school for since fifth grade, and so we met in eighth grade. She had just came in eighth grade. Mm -hmm. So me, I already like, I already knew where my seat was at because I'm like. My seat gonna be in the back of the class, like woo woo. So I come in, I'm like, you know, I'm thinking I know, and I know everybody too. I'm, I know all the friends, all my friends over there. I'm like, okay, I don't think we got, cause they was like, we don't got too many new people. But then on um, the day of, they told me we had two new girls. So I'm coming in like, hey, hey, hey. But okay, so as soon as I walk in, Jada was standing right there by the door, and she had red bang. Mind you, nobody ever had red or purple. I don't remember. <laughs> Look, mind you, nobody in our class or do. school ever had color. Like, look, listen, I listen. In my defense, <laughs> I had just started doing my own bangs. Like, look, so it was like real big. It was real, like y'all don't understand. That was a phase. Duh. But so yeah, so yeah. So uh, okay, so I walk past it. I'm like, oh, this must be one of the new girls. And mind you. I think it was you. Both of y'all both had um color bangs. Like they both yeah, had color in their hair. You and Tamia. I think y'all both had color in y'all hair. So us being the school, we, me, I'm like, oh, okay, they gotta be. This gotta be one of the new girls because she got color in her hair. Woo woo. She's mugging. She like, and I just walk past her. I'm like, girl, I, I'm trying to see what my desk at. Whatever. Look. <laughs> and I walk we past her. I'm like, what? Like, Okay. <laughs> Who the hell is this? Who the hell is you? Right. Who the hell is you? We both thinking like, mm. and it's crazy because this is the first person that I ever noticed in the classroom. Like I ever like physically like I remember this interaction with us. You know what I'm saying? Anybody else in the class? Like I swear to God, I don't remember meeting them. I remember talking to them. Like I remember us being friends. But as far as how we met, I don't even fucking remember that. Yeah. So that's how you know it was just like. Instant. Oh, we both like. Alright. What's up with her? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, cool. This the new girl. Mom, then my teacher, my our homeroom teacher. She like, Kyla, cause come over here and you introduce yourself. This the new girl. Woo <laughs> woo. I'm like, hey, my name Kyla. She like Jada. I'm like, okay. Hey. And I'm look we both looking at the teacher like this was what you want us to say. And then she's like, yeah, so she just gets to talking or whatever, woo, woo So, boom, then we get to going to school and shit. And she just would always just, I feel like she just, I was just like, like how that face on her, like. I, but y'all. <laughs> but I feel like me too. I used yeah, to have I was just going to say, too. but this, y'all, y'all, y'all only know the calm her. Like, back in, like, the bitch was turned, what? Hey, y'all, what up, y'all? I'm here. What? The room was hers anytime, so I'm just looking like. Who is this bitch? Yeah, like, and I'm like, like, ooh, this is, I'm like, girl. I'm like, and then it's crazy because I never thought, I'm just thinking to my head, like, bro, I'm not going to be cool with this girl. Like, this probably going to be one of the girls I get into <laughs> with. Like, she giving me the wrong feeling. Like, I don't know what it is. I, girl, I was loud as fuck. I used to be loud. Like, I used to be just be loud and really, like, you said, like, always like, hey, 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 like, hey, ooh, do. yeah, what? <laughs> You know. You're but like I, I was so yeah. We, so I guess we was just around each other, and then one day we was at recess together or some. Cause I remember, even up to up to that day in recess, I don't think we ever like really had a conversation. conversation we just was. Yeah, like just was, yeah. So I remember that conversation in recess. We was like, I don't even know what happened with how we got to cross and yeah, pass. I think we was just outside together. We yeah, we just probably just in the same yeah. circle with everybody, and then. You said something and said something, but I remember us saying like, "Girl, I thought you ain't like me." And then I'm like, "Great, you ain't like me, bitch." We like, "I like you, I like you." You was like, "Girl, but I thought you." Girl, you was looking. I was like, "Yeah, we like, damn." So I'm like, "Damn, okay." You know, as well, let's be cool or whatever. So boom, we got to being cool, and after that, it was just yeah, from there. Yeah, I'm just saying, it's just been up since then. You know, Literally. Been shit ever since then together. Y'all knew when we had half. Like, it's just, like, literally from And I think grade we should, I was 15 or 14. Yeah, I, I was like, 14. Yeah, no, I, was I was 14. 15. You was 15, yeah. yeah. So we all went up. Like I said. Yeah. And now we're 20 and nowhere. 21. What? Period. We doing our shit though. Okay. Like, okay. Crazy. Yeah, that shit was fun though. Like crazy. when we like, actually 
sorry talking to each other. I'm like, okay, this bro, bitch cool. Like this bitch cool. We ended up doing cheerleading. I went to her house after school. Oh, I was just gonna say we was at each other crib. Oh, each no. other parents. And I like, really wasn't as cool with nobody else except for like the girl who stayed next door to me type. Yeah, shit. I was just gonna say we was cool with her. Her, yeah. And then but then we ended up breaking just off like being closer yeah, together out from before. literally. Yes, I was being closer with her than anybody like, I knew. Bro. From just, the past and years. And I love it, so I love but that. Yeah, that was cool. That was good. Like, I love that for us. Yes. Like I said, I ain't met no bitch like her. I'm sure, so like. So, like, I'm like, hmm. All right, girl. I love this girl. <laughs> <laughs> like, when I first walked into the classroom, I'm I really sure, like, thinking, like, I don't know. This bitch got this. a bang, and she just. <laughs> and she then got I'm a like, color man. I'm like, she showed. I'm like, hold on. Who is it? Girl, because I get a little color. I'm like, girl, look that. But then I'm like, Damn, maybe she, maybe she cool. But then I was like, do these bitches know each other? Cause they both came in here with yeah, red and purple bangs. Y'all knew each other? Yeah, we, yeah. Oh yeah, you did say y'all both came from, yeah. That's why I was like, damn, do these hoes know each other? But I'm like, see, but what you said here was a Catholic school. They yeah. came from public, so, right? Or alternative, 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 alternative school. school, yeah. We both, so we both was already a little like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I don't know how we made that transition, but that was that was real nice though. It was. It, it helped me. It helped me a lot. I don't because think if I would have went to Blessed Savior, I don't know where I'd be. Yeah, because I'm sure like these girls they come like, in to what we come in with color like, bands. you me, know i, I got the, came from my school. yes me I'm, I'm like i got that little family <laughs> in me but bitch i we ain't used to we, we, we don't do color. that over here we we, they, every time i tried to get a little color they was on my ass oh, every day so i'm like y'all let y'all so, uh, this, this what we doing so that's why i go i probably was just like a little already like uh-uh, bitch. Like, you used to have color hair, hair, and I don't. That was my that was my main problem. That was the only problem I had. And I, and I was like, when she they married, take it out. I'm like, oh, she ain't got no. She ain't. She the same. She 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 the same. I hate you. Oh no, 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 yeah, bitch. Cause yeah. I'm the new girl, and I'm, the I'm like, damn. I tried to say hey to everybody. I she just, just. I'm just a, like this. Her standing at the door. Yeah. She like well, her, ma her mama was with it too. My mom, everybody, mama was with it. She like everybody walking in like, hey, no, 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 no. She, I'm really she trying like, to read the room. I'm trying to figure out why are these white kids like I don't know y'all like, know my environment was like completely different. Like I'm coming from like motherfucking kids that's already cussing in like when do bitch when walking the dough <laughs> then i'm coming to this catholic school they got breakfast the kids or some kids silent some hug like the teachers know each other i'm just like what type of shit <laughs> so i was just and then like i said this bitch just walked in y'all know it was crazy the environment was crazy so <laughs> Yo, I'm, right, I'm, I'm like, like i'm like this the only reason in the corner <laughs> they set it up like I, show, I remember that i showed was like I'm like, well, damn. Hey. And you can't, you gotta get walk past it to get to your desk. So. <laughs> oh, no, I'm sure. Then, you know, the teachers always want y'all to talk, so that made it more awkward like because mm -hmm. she already, like, y'all talk. So I'm like, like shit. Well, I it was good. Our teacher and, became a pain in the ass. She wanted us to be apart all the time. Like she went putting us in no groups together. Like it got to that point. Yeah, like it all was to the point they where to keep us they was wanted to keep us far as away from each possible. other as possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It happened like that. Mm -hmm. We done forgot all about them. The other questions. Damn. Okay. Well, it got it's gonna be a long video, a long video. but it's okay. Yeah. Whatever. I better tune the fucking right. Good shit. It's good shit. Uh, yeah. number eight. We got ten questions. How do we feel about that then? <laughs> you know, I was drinking like this. How do, do I, I feel in the moment? Do I want to go first? Yeah. Um, how do we feel about dating? How do I feel about dating? I feel like dating now in this generation is very much difficult in a way. Um, I feel like we deal with a lot of feminine men, a lot of bitches um, <laughs> in, in other terms. Um, so, I mean, I feel like it's hard to really find love or, or a genuine person to be with, which is okay, like I said. But, um, yeah, as far as dating, I really in the future i would want it but yeah. as far as like right now i feel like dating is is more like a personal thing you know you date when you're ready you date when you're physically mentally and emotionally ready 
you know what I'm saying? Because it's more than just dating, you know, you have to really get to know a person, want to be with a person throughout all their stages and all that other shit. Like, I feel like all that temporary, like, temporary tit, tit for tat shit. <laughs> Yeah, all the tip for tat shit is just like it's a need. You know, it's not it's not a need for real relationships that are dating. You know what I'm saying? You can't have none of that. Okay. Um. Okay. Okay. I think that. Woo. Oh, how do I feel about it? Say hey. Look. Say hey. 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 <laughs> Um, how do I feel about dating? I feel like, bro, I don't like these niggas. Yeah, yeah that's, I, I just, niggas, just, I don't know, like, my dating life has been, I just started, I feel like I just got into dating, though. Yeah, so, me too. Because, sure. like, most of my teenage years, I talked to the same person. Count. Like, that really don't count, really. So, uh, me just now starting to really date people, bro, these niggas is... And I feel like now that we're dealing with, like, real life issues, it makes it ten times more worse. Because, you know, like, when we was in high school, like, we didn't have to worry about each other, like, being financially stable or, you know, like, having our own shit. Now, like, it's either, like, it's a lot going on, you know what I'm saying? There's just way too much shit going on. Like, the internet by itself is something. Like, people, a lot of people live for the internet. Like, a lot of people do a lot of shit. Like, it just be a lot of fake shit going on. And as far as these niggas, like, they they, they fake as fuck. <laughs> like, I, I can't, I can't say it yet. better because, like, bro, say it, you know. It's like, you come up, you go, I, I just realized, like, you go, it's, every nigga is, you, you come across, you gonna always, I don't know, like, they just, you gonna always, I don't know. I want to say lie because that's not really the word I'm looking for, but all these niggas be lying. But they be just, like, bro, can nigga, I just feel like ain't no nigga really real out here. Like, yeah, bro, sure. some of these niggas be real, but some of these niggas, they, if they real, they still, yeah, they come with other shit. But yeah. some of these, most of these niggas don't be real with themselves. Like, come on now, be fucking for real. Like, at the end of the day, don't, <laughs> don't, don't, don't try to play me like a fool or don't try to ever make it seem like it's. I don't know, like, yeah. niggas be living double lives, and yeah, niggas be yeah. lying, and yeah. right now, I feel like, if you go, if, dating, I'm definitely, yeah, I'm right now, I am dating, or I'm not dating nobody specifically, but yeah, like, I'm single, so, yeah, I'm dating. dating, but, I'm not talking to nobody, because these niggas is annoying, and these yeah. niggas be lying, and I don't got time for that shit, bro, because, yeah. like, me, I'm the type of person who, if I'm dating you, I, I don't know, this probably, I don't know, I think. That's right. what he said about dating, fuck, and that's just all it is to it. And that's what I'm saying, son. Right. Right, right. that's what I be saying to you. Yeah, because... That's all. Yeah. The, that's all there is to it. All I'm gonna do is just Period. have fun. I can't fuck with them. They just annoying. But okay. yeah, for real, that's how I feel too. The same way. I feel like yo, fuck these niggas, get money. Yeah. yeah. These niggas don't deserve the attention. And the next question is, this is from. Older and younger. Dada. Oh, that was the question Dada. about older people. Dating younger or older people. Stop. <laughs> um, I feel like the difference between dating a, a younger and an older person is, I would say older people come with more maturity, but that that would be a lie. I would be lying. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna say um, the difference between dating someone younger and older is just an older person will give you. I think they're a little bit more honest. You know what I'm saying? They're a little bit more realistic. I think that they um, they have a little bit. Uh, they have a little bit more. A lot of niggas that's older, they got a lot of more game. You know, they got a lot of bit, a lot of more experience with women, so they know how to like draw you in while it's small as shit. You know what I'm saying? Like a young nigga probably would be like, "Hey, hey, what you doing?" But an older nigga probably will come to you like. 
hey, hey, beautiful, um, can I take you out to dinner or something like that? And you will probably look at the older nigga like, oh, you're more mature. However, he'll still be anxious just as much as the young nigga. You know what I'm saying? So, really, the difference is just if you're going to find somebody older to be with, I think that, you know, you got to find somebody that's willing to teach you if you're younger. You know, somebody that's willing to just meet you halfway and not, like, because these niggas is not doing shit for nobody. Yeah, we kicking them to the curb. We not waiting yeah. for no nigga like that at all. I hate them. Yeah, them niggas that ain't spending nothing, they gotta go. Bro, what? All the way. Like, I don't what? want no nigga to ever think that that is the smartest way to go. Like, that is the most. That's what I be saying. That's why, I, like, I don't like. That's why I just say I'm not a fan of daddy, because, bro, these niggas be yeah, like they pump faking for real. For real. Like, they'll tell And these you, niggas like, don't be real. Like I said, be fucking for real. Girl. If I'm showing up like this and you not giving me the same. I don't know. Like I said, Nick. And niggas in general, as a motherfucking population in general, really, as a whole, you niggas is just, y'all don't comprehend. I don't know. Y'all don't comprehend. Yeah. And I feel like at the end of the day, and when y'all do comprehend, it's too fucking late. Yeah, it's so way too fucking late. I just rather not even do that. Go that far. And I don't even think y'all understand how much a bitch really don't want to deal with. As soon as I see it, right, gotta go. You know, she said, Pew. and I don't like when I'm sure I, I, I'm, I feel like I like you too more than you like me. Yeah. No, you, like, I can't do that. Right. Like, or even especially if you started off and you wanted to talk to me first, yeah. and then now I feel like I'm liking you too much. What the fuck is what this? Reverse that. Right, that's what I'm saying. And then a nigga, I hate the niggas that only be good for two weeks. Like for you niggas that think just two weeks is that really blows me. Like the the only going on dates at the at the first beginning, like who who raised you niggas for real? Like, cause I know your mama ain't tell you no shit like that. Your mama ain't never told you that she only go on dates every two weeks. You know what I'm saying? No, the first two weeks. Your mama ain't do that shit. <laughs> so who told you that? That's why I feel like dating right now is stupid because most people is looking to find people on the internet, and then some people is looking to find people in just outside activities, but. You see her running? Yeah. Is she finna hop that gate? Girl, Girl she, she finna hop that gate, she and she got a bag. Oh, look I turned it off. Yeah. She gone. But like, what was he saying? It's the difference between if you let motherfuckers know what's up, and or if you lying about that shit and to hit shit hit the fan. Now it's this that a lot. Yeah, like, a lot. Of, a lot of niggas they don't even understand. Like you would say yourself a lot more stuff than you say yourself a lot more trouble. Like just being honest. As far as like putting up with a nigga doing all his shit. I just really feel like bitches need to become more comfortable with just letting a nigga go before all that other shit get intact. Before you get the love of the nigga and before you get to putting yourself all, putting yourself last and putting that nigga first and wanting to cook and clean and woo, put yourself first because like I said, loving yourself is the best thing. You know what I'm saying? Because niggas, they don't know how to love at all. And I feel, it, I feel like it's because it's not enough bitches out here saying something about it. A lot of you bitches just accepting these niggas for what they is. And a lot of you bitches just like, oh, yeah, I'll do this, I'll do that, I'll do it. Like, I'm not nobody else. So, it's hard to find a nigga that's, like, masculine, you know what I'm saying? But also a nigga that, and then, like I said, the masculine niggas think they finna beat on you. So, mm -hmm. bitch, you can't be too damn masculine. I'm not finna take that shit. So, you know what I'm saying? You just gotta. That's what I'm saying. Tell I'm a person. Tell I'm a person. I don't know. I'm cool and that shit. Uh, if somebody find me, then that's a different story. Right. Fine. I ain't looking for nobody. Yeah, I ain't looking for nobody. Aye, aye, aye. 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 It's okay, baby. Sorry. Okay, it's the last, last question. Yes, last question is Kylan, really? Look at yourself. Look. Look. What are some things that you would tell your younger self? Something that I would tell my younger self would probably have to be, um, probably just take it slow and enjoy my childhood. I think a lot of the time, especially when I got to like 16, 17, I think I just wanted to be, I wanted to be more open and more out and like, I just wanted to do more shit, but my family wouldn't allow me to do it. But I feel like that was the most, like the most, the best thing for me, you know what I'm saying? Even though I wanted to, you know, go out a little bit more, they was like, no. Which I think it, it gave me the, the, the senses that I have now when I, when I go out and I'm out Stop. there. You know what I'm saying? I get to enjoy stuff more because I've never done it. As far as people that be like, I did it when I was younger, woo woo. You know what I'm saying? But 
You know, I really, really tell myself, like, yeah, just slow down, enjoy life, enjoy your childhood. Um, and probably, um, oh, uh, shit, I think that's it. Just probably, you know, enjoy, enjoy your life. You know, enjoy being who you are. Don't let nobody tell you nothing. I wish I, that's what I wish I would do. I wish I just would have been more confident in myself as far as, like, um, as far as like uh, with my singing, I feel like I should have been more confident in getting out there a little bit more when I was younger, which probably would have been, been better. And I probably don't be as shy as I am now, but that's something I probably tell myself to be more confident in myself and my goals that I want to. Okay, okay, that was cool, period. I like that. Um, okay, so something I'll tell my younger self is to, same thing I'm telling myself now, don't take everything personal. Because most of this shit that be going on or you feel like it's happening to you is not even because of you. It's because of what other motherfuckers got going on or it's they ain't got shit to do with you, period. Like, you just don't. So, don't take shit personal. Um, uh, I would say uh, learn how to talk more. Like, be more expressive because, like, I never really talked to nobody like that. Unless I was close to you. Like, that's why, I, yeah, like, we got close. But that was surprising to me because I really wasn't close to nobody. Yes, I, ain't I don't know who I was close to around that time. I'm trying to think. Probably was, I don't even know. I really don't know. But probably, yeah. But I feel like you came around, like, at the right time, like I said. Because I don't have older sisters like me. I never, I don't have, like, nobody around my age and my family type shit that's up here in Milwaukee. Everybody down south. Yeah. So, for me, like, like I said, I got to go through high school with somebody. I got to experience that shit with somebody else that's not. So, I wasn't by myself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because I had my fucking sister with me. You right, know what I'm yeah. saying? So, it just was, like, everything's, like, perfect time, like I said. For sure. For sure. That's what I was like. I was really never that close to somebody. Uh, uh, yes, I was. My FC. But she left. My FC left in like seventh grade. So that whole seventh grade, I was really just friends with the whole class. I chill, like getting cool with everybody. But then Jada came and I got cool with her. And then I got way more cool with her than anybody else. So I was like, that's shit crazy. She's a new girl. I thought we were going to be cool. But the whole time, this is my homegirl. Yeah. One more thing I would say is. Um, Bro, go for anything you want to do, shit. Just like I'm, like, you can do that shit. Anything you put your mind to, you can do that shit. That shit not just the same. Yeah. So, oh, that's it. That's really all. Take this shit in and take it for what it is. That's it. Period. Your lessons and count them blessings. Yeah, I was just going to say that. <laughs> Period. So, yeah, thanks for tuning in. I know it's probably a long video, but... but Bear with us. We haven't seen you all in a minute. It's been like months, years in there. Say bye. Say, say bye. bye to Kai Kai. Say bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. <laughs> so follow me on TikTok at the only Kai Love. But uh, cause I'm gonna post a little review on there. And then um I'm also gonna start posting more content on here, like I said. Yeah. Just stay tuned. Yeah, I'm a motherfucker to the garage. I ain't shit for you, Make them sure for bands. It's funny how bitches turn.